everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm W2Best and this is a channel about tech travel and inspirational stuff. I am on a new quest. This time I'm out to find the perfect one pants to rule them all. The perfect pants that would fit while traveling, while dancing, while going out for a little bit of a fancier dinner, while trekking, etc. First a little bit of backstory. Several years ago, I found a Kickstarter campaign that was for a company that was called Wondrous. This company seemed to have the best idea I found in a long time. Because they were going to introduce a pair of pants that would work for any occasion. I've been a jeans nerd for ages and I love jeans for so many reasons but there are some things that just make jeans less practical. For example they are really worn, also they pick up smell quite easily and third they're not very movable like if you want to like stretch out or move more freely it's not so good to do that in jeans. Even while biking, sometimes I feel restricted in my jeans. So I started looking into these wondrous pants and I backed the campaign to get two of their pants and then that was a very extended period of waiting to receive the pants. But I got them eventually. And the thing is, everyone that got these pants hated the pants. They really thought they were like bad quality, bad quality zippers, bad quality material that broke quickly, bad stitching that broke really quickly as well, and the buttons were not sewn in properly. And I have to say, they didn't match the pictures. I mean, they look really nice in the pictures. They were like, oh, this is like a pair of, of dickies or something. They're like cotton-ish fabric, but they're gonna be a bit stretchier and they're gonna be much more comfortable and more versatile. But the thing was, they were actually quite nice. I have enjoyed using them so much over the last few years and I'm wearing them right now. If I stand up on the chair here, you can see here are the pants, the black one, the slim model, I actually managed to get a pair that the size fit me really well and I use them sometimes like this without a belt, sometimes I use a belt if I want them to be a little bit higher. You see the logo there? You want to remember Wondrous because they are not going to be around. Wondrous pants, they got these uh, nice inside details and uh, I left them to the tailor to get them fixed but the crutch is starting to get really messed up. Here is the part where they fixed it but as you can see it doesn't look really nice. My girlfriend hates these pants. She thinks they're disgusting. Uh, they are a little bit too baggy for me. I can't keep wearing these pants. I need a new pair. I need a similar pair. Like a black pair, pretty slim, a little bit stretchy, that's versatile for many different activities. So today I start my journey of finding the perfect pants for having one pair to rule them all. I bought a few pair of pants and I'm gonna unpack them and we're gonna check them out and then we'll see if there's anything that will prove to be more interesting to try out a little bit more and see if it's worth to make like a proper review of. I got two pants from Chrome and then one from another company that I actually don't even remember the name of. But I was just looking out for these kind of like a little bit stretchy, slim fit pants that could fit uh, for many different occasions. So let's see what I got here. First pair is the Dure No Sweat moisture absorbing pant, the no sweat pant from Dure. These, I thought I ordered them in black, but I realized that I actually ordered them in some kind of navy color. However, they are a dark navy, but yeah, I mean, compare this, the black, to these guys, they are most definitely navy. But maybe that could be cool. 
I'm not gonna outrule them for being navy. Ah, you can see here straight away that all the seams here are triple stitched. Oh, and all the way down here, they are triple stitched as well. That's super cool. That's gonna be way more long lasting. Next package. The next pair of pants is called Madrona Five Pocket Pant. And they are from Chrome. Madrona Five Pocket, secure pocket, four way stretch, reflectivity. They kind of look a bit more technical than what I thought they looked in the pictures. So let's have a look at the back here. Yeah. It's sort of a, a nice model. Definitely trying them out to see how they fit. The third pair are called Chrome Seneca Chino. They are also a black model, but these are less black actually. These are more like a grayish tone. That's quite interesting. Same here. Compare the black color to this, sort of like charcoal or something. Maybe that's good in a way because they're not going to lose so much color over time. So you can see here, they don't have the regular pocket back there. Here they have some kind of reflective material on the inside. They do also look quite a bit more technical than what I thought they would. But okay, let's do a first try of the three different pants and we'll see how they look when I try them on. The Seneca pants. Definitely got a kind of technical look to them. They got that so-called secret pocket up here, which when it's not that secret, because you can actually see it quite well, it looks really technical, I think. We are now on the Madrona. These pants have like a really different front pocket. They kind of like, you put your hands down straight from, from the top. Whereas on the other chrome pants, you would put your hands in from the sides. So that's a big difference. The, both the fabric and the actual model feels quite a bit less technical, I think. The fact that the pockets are actually like on there, visible, makes them also look a bit more like a normal pair of jeans or a normal pair of pants. So yeah, this is a much more positive first impression, I would say. All right, last but not least, we have the Dur the no sweat pants and I can tell you 100% that these pants are the ones that look and feel the least technical. They are navy but I actually really like the color and this fit is very close to what I usually prefer wearing especially since I'm biking a lot and if you have two wide legs you tend to like get stuck in the bike chain. Yeah, this is actually a pair that I think I could really appreciate. They almost feel a little bit too small when I move my legs a little bit. But to be honest, I think they might just stretch a little bit from using them. When I was researching this, I also really wanted to try the outlier pants. And I had another list of like three, four other brands that I really wanted to try. But they don't really ship to Europe. And if they ship to Europe, you'd have to add the, the sales tax of 25% that gets added to everything that is sent into Sweden. A pair of pants that are already $200 would be like $250, $260 with those fees added on top of it. It's now about a week later and I've tried the pants quite a bit. I only tried them at home because I didn't want to remove all the tags because if I remove the tags I can't send them back if I don't want to keep them. It's quite interesting to wear these kind of pants for a while because this the Seneca, Chrome Seneca, on a picture online, they looked kind of cool, but they are way too technical. I could just see immediately when I took them on that this is just too much of a technical fabric. Like, I would never wear it. And the thing here, that it opens up, it's got the reflective material in there. I mean, that's great for cycling but I don't want a pair of cycling pants. I want something that I could wear for any kind of occasion. So the Senecas, they are out immediately. The five pocket Madrona. The model of these guys, since they are like a regular five pocket, I really like this kind of model. They still got that zippers there, which is like a safety pocket of sorts. And uh, I mean, if you're wearing a short 
shirt or a short t-shirt having a visible zippers like that that also looks a bit too technical for me the pants has this kind of like extra part of fabric here that is sewn together with the crutch and the thing that bugs me with it is that they have also put stitches on the back here so there's like an extra piece of fabric that is on the back but uh, all in all they are much better than the Senecas but still I just feel like the fabric to the touch is a little bit too technical the last thing I found really annoying with the chrome pants are the length I am a tall person but these pants they are super long I have to fold them up three times to be able to actually wear them they are just annoyingly long that's how they are sold and that's advertised that they sell in a very long shape and then you just have to resize them and hem them to the length that you actually want them in but uh, to me I want them in 32, I don't want them in 34 and then have to resize them and hem them. I wouldn't wear it. That's the thing. If I kept these pants, they are 150 euros. If I wouldn't wear it, it's a waste. So these pants, they don't qualify and I will be sending them back. The third pair of pants are the Dur No Sweat Slim Pants. And these are very different from the other ones because they are not in a technical fabric they are more like in a cotton blend fabric although it's definitely stretchy but it's not as stretchy as the other ones but you can see it does expand a little bit when i do that they are thinner at the bottom they are in general a quite slim model but they also do have this extra piece of fabric here in the crutch so they're supposed to be good for outdoor activities as well. These were a really good fit on me. But the problem with it is that they were navy. And I thought I ordered them in black, but they were navy. I wouldn't wear a pair of navy pants as much as I would with a pair of black pants. I will send them back and I go on a hunt to find a black pair of viewer no sweatpants. I returned all of those three pants and I started looking to find a viewer slim no sweat pant but in black and that was not so easy because on viewers website they were completely sold out in my size but I kept searching and eventually I found a German sports website that had a sale on the viewer no sweat slim pants so they went for 60 euros and shipping were only 6 euros so like 66, 67 euros is the total price that I had to pay for a black pair and they have just arrived. That's amazing. Let's see how the viewer slim in black looks. This is what I wanted. A bit technical but not too technical. It almost looks like a pair of jeans when you look at the model. It has the little buttons that are like a pair of jeans. It has that pocket that is like a pair of jeans. Regular back pockets, but it does have this extra piece of fabric here to make them a little bit more flexible to use. I'm gonna put these pants on and we'll see how they look. Most of the time I wear them with my uh, RM Williams and I love this kind of pants, especially when you're biking. The slim fit together with the boots, it sits really well. They are a little bit shorter, so if you're wearing regular shoes, you're going to be able to see a little bit of the socks. That was a bit easier than I thought it would be. I made my decision when I tried on the viewer no sweatpants. I love them, but I want them in black. I just found them in black on this German website, ordered them, got them a few days later. Boom, we're done. So, sorry, Wanderers, you are going to be donated to charity. I'm done with Wanderers for now and I will be moving to Viewer for the next few years of traveling and living. Looking forward to it. This means I have a pair of pants that I'm going to start using and I will be reviewing them when I've had some practical use for them. I thought that it didn't really make sense for me to make reviews of the chrome pants since I'm going to be sending them back straight away. I can't take away the tags. So I can't really use them in any kind of everyday setting. Review will happen, but only for the viewer. 
You know that feeling when you have some piece of clothes that you got really used to wearing all the time, but then the time has finally come to get rid of them. That's me right now. It's time to get rid of my wanderers.